In another video, we talked about things that you could do once you finish typing your document, such as downloading a copy or printing, things that you might use for yourself. But today in this video, I want to specifically look at the power of sharing this document because sharing with others is that's really what makes Google Documents so powerful. So let's just click on the share button. Because it has the little lock icon there, I know that at the moment I'm the only one that can see this document inside my Google Drive. But if I want to share it with someone, and I will use another one of my addresses, all I have to do is put in their email address. And if I click send, that person will also be able to see this document. But there's a lot of power in this box. So we want to stay here for a moment because as I add names, I can choose what these people can do to my document. Right now with this pencil, not only can they see it, they can edit it. They can go in and make changes. Maybe that's fine with me if we're collaborating on something like treatment team notes or some other activity. But maybe I've written something that I don't want them to change. I just need them to see the information. I can click here and say they can only view the document. So that's an opportunity for me as well. Or maybe I can allow them to comment on it if they want to make suggestions, but they can't directly edit it. So however I set this up controls what they can do. I can add a note here that says why I'm sharing it with you. This is so you can see my work. And by notifying people, if I leave that check, that means they're going to get an email that has that little bit of text there that says, this is why I'm sharing it with you, and a link to this document. And now I could hit send, and they would see the document. But let's go further. I'm going to come down here and click Advanced. Now, you'll see... Part of what I've got, the work that I've already done, is still the same. I can still add people directly by email. I can still control what they can do. They still have the message. But I can also now begin to share in other ways because right now only I have access, but I can change that. I can change it so that if I send the link to this to someone else, they can view the document without having to sign in to a Google account. That's important because not everyone has a Google account. So sharing by email is great when I'm sharing with someone here in school, but I might need to share it with someone who doesn't have a Google account and yet I still want them to see this document. I can give them access to edit it or view it. So that's a powerful thing. But I want to go a little bit further. I'm going to cancel this for just a moment. I want to come down here to the bottom and open up this little graphic for just a moment. You'll notice this link sharing looks slightly different. This is what link sharing looks like inside of our CREC Google account. And we have these extra options. It lets us share the link with someone, but they can only see it if they're logged in with an account at crec.org. For example, that's how we share our daily attendance. Uh, the link gets sent out. If you are logged into your CREC Google account, you can see the daily attendance with no problem. So that helps us to control who sees more confidential information and who does not. All right, back to the last couple of items to share with you here. We've looked at adding a name. We've looked at controlling what that person can do and how to notify them. We've even looked at some of the advanced features. I'm going to send this invitation uh, to myself so that someone has been invited. The minute you invite someone, you'll see that they show up on the list and there's the option. They can edit the files. I can still come in and change that they can view it or comment on it. I could also click this little X and remove their access to the document. While we are talking about some of the special features that are a part of our CREC account, I also want to pop open a couple of extra things regarding link sharing and share those with you. One of the things that you can do in our CREC account when you share with someone, 
and you open up the sharing, you see here's a screenshot of where I've shared it uh, with one of my accounts. If you bring your mouse up and just hover right in front of the pencil icon or whatever icon is there, you will get a pop-up that looks like that. A little tiny stopwatch, and it's only visible when you hover your mouse over it. If you click that mouse, you will have a screen that looks like this. Access expires in a certain number of days. And you can pop open that little menu there. And what you are doing is making it so that the person on the other end, after a certain number of days, the sharing settings go away. They no longer have access to the document. That gives you some additional controls as you share documents, but then you may want to not have them sitting out there on other people's shared drives all the time because maybe there's some confidential information or maybe you want to update the document before you share it out with them again. So having that expiration date is an extra feature of our CREC account. Now, back to just regular settings. We have done almost everything you can do with the sharing setting, except one final thing. When you open up the advanced features, you have these two little check boxes down at the bottom. If you've allowed someone else to also edit the document with you, you can prevent them from adding additional people. If I share it with you, we're going to collaborate. I don't really want you to bring in other collaborators. So I can click that box and you will no longer be able to add people to the access. The other disables your options for downloading, printing, or copying if you're a commenter or a viewer. So those features would no longer be available to you. Not an absolute guarantee of security or privacy. Someone could still take a screenshot of the document, but ultimately you are limiting some of their features. So those are all the details hidden behind this one little sharing icon. It is a powerful icon. It gives us a lot of collaborative options, and that is one of the key features of working with Google Docs in Google Drive.